I'm dying because everybody can't log into their accounts and I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. This is all PayPal's fault. But yeah, again, we're trying to message you guys as soon as possible. But <laughs> oh well, you know, just setting up the new office, getting cozy. It's nice and quiet. The new office. Yeah, it's all PayPal's fault. We can't do anything. Sorry. This is yours. Wow. wow. This is, uh, With the window software. view. Myself and Hannah Claire are, are sitting up here. She's not in today. What'd you do to earn this? Um, that's a great question. I'm still trying to figure that out. I would consider this a big upgrade. I mean, it's nice. It's quiet up here. You know, we got windows. Which I guess we had windows over there too, but I'm closer to the windows. I won't get lonely because I've just brought in my new friend. I don't know what this is, but it's some kind of succulent. Is it real? It is real, yeah. Touch. Just gave it a little bit of water this morning, so hopefully there's enough sunlight in here. We will see what happens, but uh, yeah. The gang's all here. Is this new? Yes. Wow, I like it. Thank you. Wouldn't it be better if it was a different color? Oh, off. It, like, what color? Chris, pretty much any, well, any Chris color. came in here earlier and was like, he's like, wow, it looks great. It looks, I mean, I don't like the color. Like, my favorite colors are purple and green. So this is my favorite room in the house. Dane's about to feel very manly right now. <laughs> Yeah, that one came up way. Oh, so hard. <laughs> What's wrong with that one? I don't know. Oh my god. I feel like it's gonna pop in my face. <laughs> yeah, I feel like No, no, I'm this, this has become a manhood back. test now. Oh, great. Now it's on film. Oh, I loosened it. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pass it to Brett. Oh my god. Give it to Brett. I said a manhood test, Nick, not a boyhood test. <laughs> Which is ironic, given the fact that he literally can't get that jar open. I'm working on it. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. You probably recognize me. I'm Tim Poole of TimCast and TimCast IRL. I know many of you are fans of the Cast Castle vlog. And that's why I have great news. We're shutting it down. Guys, you're fired. Get up. <sighs> I brought my computer to write. Can I keep the coffee? Yeah, you can have the coffee. Can I keep the water? But uh, I get your socks. Take them off. <laughs> hey Jamie. Hey man. Thinking about something? Thinking thinking and longing. I guess what we wanna say is don't leave. Stay subscribed to this channel so that you can see the viral clips, the comedy sketches, you can help spread the word, and then see the full episodes at TimCast.com. All right, here's what's really happening. So, uh, we'll drop the bit. The vlog's expensive. It's always been expensive. And the nature of YouTube has changed dramatically. Initially, many people hoped that by producing free content, you would, produ you would produce excellent uh, quality content that would reach this certain level where everybody wanted to watch it. But the nature of the industry has changed dramatically. Now what everyone is doing, Netflix, Hulu, Disney, Paramount, NBC, or I think they call it Peacock, or whatever, it's a terrible name, uh, and The Daily Wire is producing shows for you to buy. Well, we tried resisting that to a certain degree, thinking, well, we can, we can still do this, this old school model, make a great show on YouTube, people will love the bits, they'll love the behind the scenes combined, and it doesn't really work. You know, sometimes we have a great guest, we'll have Tulsi Gabbard, and she'll arm wrestle with Jamie, and you'll get, what, 50,000 views. Well, that, that pays the bills. But then, most days, you don't get that. So the idea then is, okay, well, what if we just relax on the degree of production and the cost of things, and maybe the lower amount of views might work, but then your quality suffers, and then people don't want to watch it. So there really is a challenge with doing a show like this, even if it's just a vlog with no acting. We're just filming. We've got to hire people to film and edit it, and someone's got to be in charge of it, and it just doesn't make that much money. If we had a massive channel with a million subscribers, maybe, but take a look at all those vlog channels. They're nothing, well, I'll put it this way. They're buy my merch commercial. One minute of vlog commercial. Buy my merch again commercial. And so I, I took a look at the commercials we have in these videos and I'm like, it's like a 10 minute video with five commercials in it and we still don't make enough. So what can we do? We can shut it down. 
I really don't want to do that because we film stuff. That's fun. That's why they're not really fired. Oh. I can keep uh, my, I still don't know what to believe. I can keep my socks. And keep a job. The other idea is we just want to keep expanding what we have at TimCast.com in terms of people who become members to watch exclusive content. So if you like TimCast IRL, well, naturally, a decent amount of people who watch sign up to become members to support our work and to get the Monday through Thursday uncensored show. For the longest time, I thought nobody would really want to pay for the behind the scenes stuff. And then I realized I was wrong because, well, clearly the Daily Wire pulled it off. And instead of just saying we can't make money doing this, why don't we just treat it like any other business? Hey, we made a thing. If you really like it, it's 10 bucks a month. The goal is to produce a, a new 22 minute episode every week, and it will still be a vlog slash sitcom kind of. We're gonna have jokes and humor where we poke fun at ourselves and the culture war, and then actually show a bit of the behind the scenes because sometimes it's just naturally fun and funny. So we'll mix those things together. If a few thousand more people sign up for this, then it pays the bills and we keep doing it. I take a look at Netflix and they made some great shows. You know, I, I really liked The Order. You, ever got, you guys ever see that show? The yeah, Order yeah. was great. It was like CW kind of, werewolves and witches or something. All right. And they canceled it in two seasons. And they're like, oh, we didn't get enough views. And I'm like, it's kind of crazy to me. How do you produce a show with that massive of a budget? And well, that's the issue. For us, I don't care if we make a million dollars off of it. I just care that we can do it. And the current way we're doing it, we can't. Because we're just spending money to make something that not enough people watch. But more than enough people who watch it could fund it if they were willing to pay 10 bucks a month at TimCast.com to watch it. So I said, how about we do this? To reduce the stress on the staff here, who aren't actually actors and don't like being filmed all the time, we do something once a week. We can then have better quality assurance. We can actually create a library of really great content that in one year you'll have 50 some odd episodes. We're not going to work every single week, maybe 40 episodes. And then you can binge watch all of those and we'll create a library of something really fun and funny to watch and it will actually sustain itself. In the long run, this probably works better. Then we can use more of the resources for marketing it out. We can make everything a little more easier on everybody here. We can QA the jokes better and make sure things are working. And then that's the plan, I suppose. Other than that, we're kind of just throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing how to make this work. Well, and also, the this is what you guys stand for. This is anti-establishment. This is not pandering to every, you know, YouTube commenter, but this is if we have a core audience who's willing to pay, we can make it edgy and fun and make it for you guys and not just try to get as many people as humanly possible. Here's another issue. We have a really funny bit we can't put on YouTube. And this kind of happens a lot. Yeah. And so I'm <laughs> yeah. like, this is really funny. And it's not like, we have one that's not offensive at all. It's about vaccines. We can't do it. I, we I can't actually, do it. I have another one about vaccines that I really want yeah, to we do. Can't do it. I have another one, yeah. So I'm like, dude, are we gonna hobble ourselves and make stuff that's not as good as it can be because YouTube's got a bone up? <laughs> because YouTube's got a problem? Mm -hmm. Thanks, YouTube. Or we can put it behind the scenes on TimCast.com. Those that really like it can pay 10 bucks to support the show. I think it'll be worth it. I know not everybody is going to agree. I'm sorry if you like watching the vlog, but we have to change it. But I'll just make it really simple for you. We, um, I wouldn't call myself a laissez-faire capitalist, but we run a business. If X amount of dollars are coming in for the vlog, but it costs X plus Y, the vlog will simply cease to exist. I would rather not do that and just say, okay, if a fraction of the people who watch the vlog, if 10% of the people who watch the vlog sign up at TimCast.com, then the vlog pays for itself, and we can be way funnier and way edgier, yeah. not have to worry about censorship, and actually sustain the project. Oh. That's what I think we're going to be doing. Yeah. And then we can make more stuff. If this works, like prove to people that this can work and that edgy people who have a different opinion uh, than the mainstream can actually just make art and still make a living on it. And then we can just keep making more content for you guys without thinking about algorithms or what YouTube will say. We can tell you what we actually think about YouTube on TimCast.com. Well, we have like really funny bits about 5G, conspiracies, vaccines, and it's like, we'll write the joke and go, YouTube would ban that. Yeah. And they're not offensive, right? It's not like we're disparaging people. It's just that, well, you can't say this thing about this thing. And it's like, oh, so stupid. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's what we're trying to get away from. 
that's what comedy is too. Comedy is like talking about the uncomfortable thing. And so if you take that away, it's, you know, what do you have? Yeah. Comedy is uh, throwing your wet, sticky spaghetti at the wall and just watching it slide down. Yeah. That's a George Carlin quote. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> no. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. Unlike traditional sitcoms, like we're going to have reality mixed in. So, you know, the other day I played a game of Skate with Taylor. It was a lot of fun. It was funny. People seemed to really like that video. All that real stuff behind the scenes will be in it. You'll get more with some of the guests that come on, so it'll be really funny. Uh, I don't want to give away some jokes, but... Oh. I won't give away any of the jokes, but we have some really awesome guests uh -huh. that are coming and some funny bits. So it'll it'll serve as an effective behind the scenes with some humor thrown in. And instead of doing like 13 episodes in a, in the span of two months, once a year, we're going to aim for like 52 episodes per year. Maybe some people will be like, I don't want to spend the money right now. Maybe if it's good. Okay, well, I'll put it this way. In a month and a half, we're going to have as many episodes as any traditional sitcom would have up on the website. So that's probably worth 10 bucks. Yeah. I think we can make it way more fun, way more funny, way more edgy. It's something that the TV networks would never want to do. We're not worried about making a million dollars. We're worried about making just enough to pay everybody to keep doing it. And then we can be as offensive as we want. Yep. All right, let's do it. I'm done. You got anything else to say? Let's no, leave. I'm in. I'm sorry. Right. Bye. Oh, after you, sir. Yeah. After you, sir. Boom! Sold your feet! Yeah, I opened a jar. You should edit it to make it look like it took him a ridiculously. Why are you here? Time. No, try opening it. I get it. No, you gotta seal it. Fill no, it you. You oh, you guys gotta twist it. Oh, so it's actually an IQ test. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a candle jar. Yay! Twist it. <sighs> well, you, I did it the man way though. I was like, twisting is lame. I'm just gonna test myself and pull it, which I succeeded though. Embarrassing. You're embarrassing. You don't even know the lights of your show. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. You right. just don't understand what you're missing. Did you ever figure out who stole your sandwich the other day? Um, not yet, but I have a couple ideas of who it could be. Who could it be? The number one suspect is obviously the member of the household who steals everybody's food. Oh, someone stole your sandwich? Mm-hmm. Incredible. Yeah. I think it's Bucko. Because Bucko eats everybody's food every day. Um, no. I don't think so. <laughs> Bucko was pretty well fed this weekend, so... Yeah, this was before the weekend. You're already broken to the point where you're blaming animals instead of people? Well, I just... Like, I don't know anybody well enough to read them. Well, you world. know it wasn't me because I wasn't here, so you I'm know, your only reliable So, I, the, I didn't put my name on it yeah. or anything. If they didn't know beforehand that it was that it was yours... Well, I learned a valuable lesson to just put TM on Hey, everything. stop victim blaming, bro. What the hell? Um, uh, I don't know. What if I'm a target? What if they see my name on it and they eat it? Because <laughs> so I don't like her. I'm gonna eat her sandwich. Dude, do we have a hate crime at the Tim Cast compound? I get comments about all the time. Where am I gonna sit? You're gonna sit where? Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go. All right, you got, you got Taylor. Taylor. And uh, actually, no. Why don't we put you in the main seat? You put. Because you had seats on the show before. I'm, I'm down sure, with whatever. What's going on? I'm going on IRL. I gotta text my dad. Probably doesn't need to text my dad. What's so good. funny? You gotta text your dad. Yeah, I gotta. Alright. Check, check. Wonderful. Yeah, He's gonna be oh, all Taylor. the sugar now. It's going good. Sugar now. <laughs> Did you get a haircut? Great. I did, yeah. Sharp, it's a mess yeah. right now, though. Who'd you go to? No, he got them all cut. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, thanks, Dad. Check. <laughs> Check one. You know, for real though, I haven't read the news today at all. You so. should, uh, it's I fine. I heard there was a couple of shootings, some good, some bad. It was a good Samaritan. Oh, yeah, I could. <laughs> They're all bad. <laughs> Whoa, somebody shooter took out a bad. shooter, right? I know, but it was still yeah, a shooter. Still not bad. good. Like, the shooter still shot. He's not the worst. He broke ball rules, you guys. <laughs>